But right now, it's time to turn to our resident restaurant and pizzeria expert, Mr. Dave Andelman. Dave, today you have four pizzerias you think every Phantom fan has got to try. We're going to start at a relatively new restaurant in Kendall Square or just outside of it in Cambridge called Area 4. Tell me about it. Yeah, it's a triple threat restaurant doing the very difficult assignment of serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Very cool kind of industrial vibe and they have wood burning ovens that make terrific pizza. I love their pepperoni has just the right amount of spice. They do an excellent sausage pizza with uh, banana pepper, mm. but their best pie is the well-feet clam and bacon pizza. A clam and bacon pizza. I know that sounds like it might not work, but mm. somehow, like scallops and bacon that you think wouldn't work, this is a really delicious pot. Yeah, you look at it, it's, and I, I like the, the crust on these things. Very golden, mm. definitely very crispy, very thin. Looks like the real deal in terms of Italian style, so I like it with the invention of the clams and the bacon. Now, a lot of people like me, they like that thin style crust. I mean, especially around here, people want thin pizza. One of your favorite places for that thin style is sweet tomatoes. They're in Newton, they're also in Needham. Tell me about it. Yeah. Yeah, sweet tomatoes really makes great pizza, and it is thin crust, but what's so unusual here, it's really not a tomato sauce. Right. This is actual diced tomatoes, so every time you take a bite, you get a big burst of flavor in your mouth, and it's not too filling. You can go through, you know, four, five, six slices here, Dan, very, very easily. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> they make a great pesto pie. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make an unusual, for me, recommendation on this pizza Go meatless. Just the Don't no meat. Don't need the meat here. Hmm. Get the veggie garden pizza. Veggie. This is piled with onions, peppers, mushrooms, and broccoli mixed hmm. in with those tomato pieces. It's delicious. Who said pizza can't be healthy? See, you're well. proving it right here and now. All right, now, how about a place called the Dogwood Cafe? A lot of people know a lot of pizzerias around Boston. A lot of people don't know about the Dogwood. It's in JP. What do you like about it? Yeah, cool neighborhood type place. You go inside, it's cozy comfortable and bright. They have a handmade, um, cooked in classic brick oven selection of pizzas, mm. okay? And for some reason, they're all named after trees. Trees? I guess there's a lot of different kind of trees in Jamaica Plant. I never they, knew this. They do have a lot of trees in okay. Jamaica Plant. So they have a spruce pizza with arugula, mozzarella, and prosciutto, a sequoia pizza with buffalo chicken, red onion, and roasted tomato, and I like the redwood pizza. The okay? redwood, that's gonna this be a This thing nice has sausage, pepperoni, hamburger, and prosciutto. There That's my kind of slice, Dan. I like that you're the kind of guy that will, you know, you know to get the meat lovers redwood at that place. And at the place before, I just do the veggies. I do I broccoli. Play and the strength of any given restaurant menu. That's what I do. That's what makes you so great. Now, <laughs> last you. but not least, certainly, when you talk about pizzerias people have to try, a place I've gone to a lot, one of my personal favorite pizza places. You love it, too. It's called Pino's Pizza. It's legendary, right in Cleveland Circle, Brighton area. What do you like about Pino's? Yeah, for years, there was this uh, big Brookline pizza battle between Pino's and Presto's. Yes. Presto's no longer around. So I guess Pino's won out in the end. It took 30, 40 years, yeah, but right. they came they out on top. <laughs> it's old school, Dan, right down to the guys wearing the white shirt and white pants. Love it. I love, all stained with pizza and flour. It really makes me feel like they're working. <laughs> and the pizza really is great. It's just traditional Italian, hand-stretched pizza dough, uh, nice sweet sauce, right amount of cheese, standard toppings like pepperoni and vegetables. I like the Sicilian pie. Mm. This is perfectly cooked. It's crispy without being heavy, buttery and flavorful. Don't even need any toppings. Now, and you, you go in there, they have all these daily specials. You can get like two slices of Sicilian with a soda. It only costs a few bucks. So you, you, you can't do a better deal than that at a fast food place, let alone a great pizza place. All right, there he is, everybody. Four places you got to try. And coming up, there's more.